music fans and general perusers of the interwebs. My name is Matt O'Leary and it's album review time. But before I go there, I want to say that my first album, it's actually an EP, is coming out very soon, hopefully in August. It's called From an Orchard of Flame. And I'm going to put a link to a teaser video down in the description box. It's got a short clip of each of the seven songs. You've probably gathered this by now, but today I'll be reviewing the third full-length album from the only Strokes member who insists on playing his instrument above his belly button. Momentary Masters is a first for Albert Hammond Jr. in a couple ways. It's the first album he's recorded in his home studio, and it's the first work he's released without the influence of cocaine and heroin. It's pretty encouraging to read that Albert seems to have sort of a new lease on life. He's quit drinking and smoking and really shifted his priorities towards his family and gaining wisdom and knowledge. He said he's gained his curiosity back for music and become fascinated with science and the universe, which can never really hurt when it comes to art and creativity. Unfortunately, AHJ's solo stuff has never really had its own unique personality. It stays really true to the Strokes formula, but doesn't do it quite as well. If Albert was the meat and potatoes of the Strokes, Julian Casablancas was the chocolate cake with cream cheese frosting that provided that necessary punch. Besides Albert's always underwhelming vocal timbre, he really has less grit and genius than Julian as a frontman. So the question is, in Momentary Masters, does Albert begin to develop his own unique character and create songs beyond bland Strokes B-sides? Uh, uh, uh. Does this offer anything new? No. But is it an enjoyable album? Yeah, I think so. I think that fans will really like it, and I think it's really obvious that Albert played a big role and contributed a lot to writing those legendary Stroke songs, because his compositional competence still really shines through. On the melancholic Power Hungry, Albert creates a really sneaky mood with this supple and buzzing bass line and those classic palm muted harmonic tinkering guitars that he's known for on the strokes on songs like Whatever Happened and The End Is No End. I think the single element that saves this album is Albert's guitar playing. I could listen to an entire instrumental album, kind of like, you know, like a rockier version of the band Ratatat or other bands like that, although there aren't really many other bands like Ratatat. Whether it's the sweet and moody solo at the end of Come and Get Ya, the chiming tone of the frenetic riffs a minute and 30 seconds into Razor's Edge, or the more subtle stuff like the textured leads and Born Slippy, along with those hammer-ons during the chorus, the guitar throughout is definitely clever and inventive. My two favorite tunes are Caught by My Shadow and Losing Touch, the first having this crunchy, agitated sound, a lot like the Arctic Monkeys or Interpol. Losing Touch really builds intention with fantastic melodies and general pop rock sensibility. I love this song right up until the last note with that pummeling bass ascension that's almost taken directly from Julian's vocal melody on the second verse of Eyes of the World. This song also most clearly expresses the phrase momentary masters from Carl Sagan. This is the idea that we humans try to gain self-importance by becoming momentary masters of our massive universe, by fighting with each other in the environment, instead of trying to protect and preserve these things. This is really noble inspiration for Albert, but no other songs really reflect this thought in a particularly articulate way. Like most of his past solo work, the lyrics here really reek of this downright upsetting, cynical apathy. While Julian portrayed carelessness in a really witty, biting, and charming way, it doesn't really translate for AHJ. He doesn't really ever offer hope, purpose, or provoke any sort of deep thought. This is really catchy and danceable pop rock, that doesn't really give me any reason to dance, if that makes any sense. So although I love the jittery, jerky guitar, this music really just lacks personality, and that's making me struggle in wanting to return to it. I'm giving Momentary Masters by Albert Hammond Jr. a decent 6.5 out of 10. Like always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment on what you thought about the album, and check out my Tyranny review from the beginning of this year, uh, the album Tyranny from Julian Casablancas plus The Voids. 
Um, it was my first review, so please go easy on me, but that album has really, really grown on me since last year. The lyrics especially weren't really that clear um, in you know listening to the album when I started, but they've become just amazing over time as I've realized kind of the depth to them and the social commentary, so definitely check that out. Again, my first review, and yeah, thank you.